am Martin Chungong. I'm Secretary General of the Interparliamentary Union, the global organization of parliaments, uh, a venerable institution. I must say that uh, I'm quite op optimistic about the outcome of the new development agenda. I say so because uh, we have to look at how this uh, new agenda was uh, fashioned. It was done in an inclusive and consultative manner which means that there is some global ownership of the agenda. There is a commitment by both the Global North and the Global South to work towards the implementation of a roadmap that will bring prosperity to the entire humanity. I, I think that uh, if there's any unifying uh, factor today, it is the development agenda. And this is because uh, there has been a determined uh, effort not to politicize the development agenda very much. It is all about human beings. It's about bringing better outcomes to human beings, bringing prosperity to uh, the human person, whether you are in the North or the South. And from that point of view, I think that there's uh, less polarization than on other issues. Yeah, I must start from the beginning. How do we get to this? We got to this out of the realization that the previous development agenda, the MDGs, the precursors to the uh, uh, SDGs, uh, were fashioned in a way that was not inclusive at all. So much so that many parliaments did not have any sense of ownership. It, uh, is it out of the realization of this fact that the IPU has stepped in as the global mobilizing or convener of parliaments to make sure that parliaments were in on the discussion at the very outset? And I think it has helped to create awareness uh, within the parliamentary community about the rationale for this global agenda. And when it comes to uh, implementing it and looking at the role of parliaments, I think that the IPU's role is, as I've said, one of convener, one of mobilizer. We help parliaments walk the talk because in most countries, parliaments are called upon to legislate, they're called upon to oversee government, to provide resources with a view to better outcomes for the people. Yeah, it's true that, uh, you know, realistically, the Global South feels closer to the development agenda than the Global North. It's only uh, reasonable. But again, I say it's a far cry from the MDGs, where it was clearly seen and observed that the Global North were not very interested. They considered the MDGs to be an agenda for the developing countries. And this has changed. There is greater awareness. Of course, it is important to engage uh, the developed countries for an, any number of reasons. You know, if you have improvement in the uh, South, then the pressure uh, on the resources in the North will be reduced. The issue of migration, for instance, that is a major global issue today, would be uh, alleviated.